folks, I'm Hub Art, along with Kevin Fishman, reporting from the NFL Scouting Combine, Indianapolis, Indiana. You know, Kevin, as you look at the draft, as you look at the prospects we see coming through here, we visited with both Ryan Pace and John Fox. It seems impossible to imagine the Bears not using their first round pick, possibly their first two or three on the defensive side of the football. They've got to stock every position on that side of the ball, and this draft is deep in pass rushers, deep in defensive tackles. I would think up front is where the Bears are going to look. You know, John Fox was asked about Jared Allen and Willie Young and where they'll be and he went ahead and said 3-4 outside linebacker but that doesn't necessarily mean they don't need it. I mean usually Will Young coming off an Achilles, Jared Allen at his age and neither of them ever played those positions. So here's a draft where you got guys like Dante Fowler or Shane Ray or Randy Gregory guys that can be playing that position. There's going to be someone there at number seven and then you talk about the defensive line and trying to find that nose tackle or a five technique. Different guys, big body guys along that defensive line uh, to make this front seven work. This might be a two draft process uh, but this is a great draft to get started on rebuilding that front. Well, and Kevin, I think the other important point about Allen and Young as outside rush backers is, A, he said he wasn't worried about them dropping in coverage. You don't do it that much. It is a concern. But B, will they get the same kind of rush leverage from the two-point stance that they get from a three-point? I don't think there's any chance Jared Allen will. Don't really know about Willie Young. And again, if they're dropping off, you've got the 30 front. They've really got nobody on each roster who's going to play that five technique, the defensive end up front, one of those three spots in the 30 front. You know, John Fox talked about the versatility of Lamar Houston. And, and we don't know exactly where he'll play. And hopefully he did some outside linebacker. We know he played some three technique in the nickel. So I think he's key to that. Where you move Jeremiah Ratliff, you go Ferguson. There's a lot of questions to be answered. But this is why they got to find some of these guys in the draft. And I'm curious uh, to see what Vic Fangio wants. You know, in San Francisco, he didn't necessarily always have these giant 300-pound space eaters. Sometimes he had guys that could really penetrate that gap and, and, and you know get after the passer a little bit. So we're going to find a lot of new names. And free agency is also going to help with this. But the draft's got to start there, too. Ask to identify certain defensive players. He only mentioned two, Kyle Fuller and Jeremiah Ratliff, who he pointed out did play the nose in Dallas. He's comfortable with that at least for a year or two. The age-old problem that predates both Pace and Fox by years is safety. There's only one you could look at in the first round at number yeah. seven, I would think, would be Randy Collins. Yeah, he's probably the only one. And the big question that we might learn the answer to the combine is Jack Thompson, who played linebacker in Washington. Some folks he could think he could be a safety along the lines of Landon Collins in the, in the box type of player like Deion Buchanan, uh, who went to the Cardinals last year. So the Bears have to decide who they want a safety like that. Or there's some cover guys they can get in the third, fourth, fifth round. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, you know, as much as Landon Collins might be the first round safety, I don't think anybody looks at him as a Cam Chancellor. He's going to turn your back your defense around. This is where the Bears will probably have to double down, triple down in the draft and free agency to try to finally get it right at safety. And they do have a former safety head coach in John Fox who should know the position pretty well. And I did ask Fox about the possibility of position switches, Kyle Long from guard to tackle, Kyle Fuller from corner to safety. He talked about liking Fuller's ability, but never really answered whether he thought he was a corner or a safety. So something else to watch, a ton to watch as we lead up to the 2015 NFL draft for all the best coverage from the combine and the players and the needs going forward. Directly at chicagofootball.com.